you know, poll going on on my Facebook, which one is air fried, which one is traditionally fried. Uh, I bet you're going to be fried after the Memorial Day weekend. You've been working <laughs> up a storm, John Florell. Uh, he is back. <laughs> We're talking Kitchen HQ. It's an HSN exclusive. It is on sale only for the limited quantities that we have for $19.95. It's also on a four pay flex pay of $4.99. John is making short order of all of that food prep, but let me just show you your color choices and then your blades, because uh, I don't know if there are any more airings scheduled on this. We've got the classic red, which you know I love. This great, it's kind of like an indigo plum purple, the slate gray, the classic black. Now John's gonna show you how easy it is, but these are your discs, and I'm, we don't have the individuals out here but if you want to do slicing yep. like John just did by the way see how I dropped that if that were a knife that's why I'm always covered with bruises and band-aids. Or, or one get, of these things. Exactly. You know, the, the these the type of graders, buster. the old, yeah, knuckle yeah, buster. Right? Yeah. You get the, the traditional shredding disc. By the way, that's one of my Shannon suggestions. We're debuting that during the show. Thank you to Jenny for making that happen. And then we also are getting the smaller grating disc if you want more of a fine shred or a fine grate. So and John, I'll show you how they work. I'm that's, turning you loose, Yeah, man. I'll tell you what. Every turn of this handle, now I've got the slicing drum in here. Every turn of the handle, you get three slices or four slices, okay? So it's like having four knives working at the same time. So I just put a bunch of radishes in the little hopper in the top. I turn the handle, and look at this. You got sliced wow. radishes for your salad. That's incredible. Or maybe you wanted to make uh, homemade potato chips or scalloped potatoes. Potatoes are gratin. It'll slice your potatoes perfect and uniform for homemade scalloped potatoes or potatoes are gratin. I mean, it does way more work than those electric expensive machines. It does. And really, all you're doing is turning the handle. Take four or five stalks of celery. I mean, if you need a half a wow. cup of, of sliced celery, all you do is turn the handle. I know. Now, Steve, I forgot to tell you, there is a picture of, I did a, a, a great little open-faced sandwich I used this yep. other night because I can't cut radishes this thin and it does a better job. John, you have to show everybody how easy this is to it's, switch out. It's so simple, okay? And, and th these are the three drums. I showed you the slicing drum. And look at this. We've already made an entire bowl full of sliced veggies with yeah, it. no kidding. You also have your coarse grating drum and you have your fine grating drum. And I'll show you this one. In fact, let me pop that coarse grating drum in. Right. Here's how it works, though. When you slide this into the machine, the handle snaps onto the right. back. And you There's wait, a, you hear that snap, yep. and that's how you know There's it's like locked. There's a little like clip right here, yeah. this little button. You push that button to release it, or you just snap it on. So I'm going to slide the coarse grating blade in, or drum in, snap that handle on. Right. Here, I'll put a new bowl in the front here, because, because it, you're going to love flies. this for any type of grating. You'll grate potatoes for potato pancakes, hash browns, <gasps> sharp cheddar cheese, zucchini Parmesan bread. cheese. You can grate zucchini. Zucchini for zucchini oh, bread or zucchini man. muffins, carrots, coconut, chocolate. I mean, it grates Perfect. everything but you. Exactly. Okay? Because if you've ever slipped on one of these old four-sided tin can things, I mean, They're people dangerous. tell me they cringe when they yeah, even they see do. one of these. By the way, Steve but, found my picture. I, I actually, I did fennel and radishes. I sliced them thinner than oh, I could ever, ever do. I also did garlic, by the way. Oh, so yeah. I can get nice yeah, little slippery You can take a whole of handful of garlic if you like you and put could. it in there. You know what, John, we're getting the question. Nancy, I love seeing you on Facebook and Selene as well, and Vicki Lee. William, you're so funny. Yes, you're invited for chicken dinner. Here's one of my <laughs> new suggestions. Uh, remember, always do fresh sh shredded cheese because there's wood pulp oh. and fillers and starch, especially yeah. if you're doing keto. But John, Nancy's asking about butter. I bet if I froze it, you yep. could do like thin slices. Hard slice. firm butter? You could. Absolutely. In fact, I'm going to show you a couple of things here because with the, with the HQ uh, speed grater, you, we call it a speed grater because it just saves you a ton of time. It does. But here's how easy this is to set up and clean. Okay, you push that little button in the back that releases the drum. Right here in the front of the machine, there's a little teardrop shape uh, button. You slide that down and that, un that loosens up the top. So this and whatever drum you use are really all you'll ever have to clean. And yeah. they're dishwasher safe. Stainless steel. Yeah. This part right here, watch this. I'm gonna slide it back on. And here's what's cool about this. Yeah. You can put this on any smooth countertop or tabletop, yeah. push the lever forward, and it locks down solid it so it's never moving around. Nope. Now you can take the grating drum or slicing drum or the fine grating drum. Here, I'll put a little bowl up here in the front because okay. I'll tell you what, if you use it on no other night but taco night. Yes. I mean, hey, if you have a recipe that calls for a cup of grated cheese, look at this. How long would that take you with one of these? Yeah, <laughs> there no was an kidding. entire block of cheese. And with that little pusher that feeds it down through, you never waste anything. That's true. You can't cut yourself. And you get a perfectly grated, those, that's cheddar cheese. But watch this. Okay. Because you can also do really fun things. Like okay. maybe 
you've got some hard boiled eggs and you wanna do an egg salad. Maybe it's for some tuna fish or chicken salad. All you do is put the hard boiled eggs in the top of the machine. It'll do two or three at a time. If you got two large eggs or three Whoa, small look at eggs. You go. And look at this, it's like a hurricane of egg. <laughs> Instead of mashing them with a fork or trying to slice them with a knife, yeah. you get perfect Look at that, and oh, by the way, I'll show you one more thing, and okay. this is something I tried just the other day because we were right. making homemade pizza. By the way, I'm top change rack dishwasher to safe, one but here. I just rinsed mine out under the sink. You probably won't need yeah. to, I mean, it's very easy. Hey, by the way, Vicki Lee uh, and uh, uh, and Melvin, for the for slicing tomatoes, I recommend the mandolins that you yes. see, John. Yep, yep. For, for slicing tomatoes, I mean, otherwise, everything else. What you doing, John? I've got a whole block of wet mozzarella cheese, okay? And I tried this the other night. I couldn't believe how well it comes out of here. I mean, look at this. For great, what other oh. grater do you know that will grate wet mozzarella yeah, cheese? Buffalo right, mozzarella. Mozzarella. Are you and look at this for pizzas, me? for lasagnas, for any type of Italian dishes, or anytime you want mozzarella or any soft cheese, all you do is put it in, turn the handle, right. and I want you to look at this consistency. Perfect every it time. It comes out absolutely perfect. It, it does. Hey, now, by the way, these are the final quantities for the summer. These are the final quantities for the summer. So there is no back order or reissue. There's not another order coming in for the rest of the summer. I think it was Vicki Lee who said, Here, you know, pickles. Out. If you love to can like I do, oh, that yeah. slicing bait for slice cucumbers. Pickles, yeah. We are so busy. I just got to tell you, if you want it, this is it for the summer. Yeah. This is it for the summer. So remember, you can choose the red. It's like a, a soft plum purple. We've got the gray, we've got the black. And remember, you get the three blades. The three drums. The three yeah. drums. Sorry. So one for slicing, great for cucumbers, potatoes, you name it. Yep. Uh, a larger grating shredding, and then a smaller fine one if you're doing like chocolates yep. and, you know, yep. you know in fact, I'll show you. I've got the fine one in right now. I've got a hard block of Parmesan cheese in here. And look at this, perfect for Parmesan cheese, for your spaghetti, for topping a salad. Next time you're Holy having a good, you know, Italian dinner, you want some fresh grated Parmesan, all you do is put the block in and turn the handle. But you know where you're gonna love this too? Yeah. If you do any amount of baking. I know. In fact, I have a whole handful. Here, I'll grab a handful of these, okay? And these watch are saltine crackers, is. all right? So if you are doing pie bread crumbs, crumbs, bread crumbs. Yeah. You wanna make your own homemade bread crumbs, crumbs, maybe you're doing a cake or a pie. Look, for, but for chicken, fish, or meatloaf, you got your breadcrumbs done literally in seconds. Here, no. maybe it's for a cake or a pie and you want to do some graham crackers for graham cracker crust. I used to watch my grandmother do this with one of those plastic bags and a rolling pin. rolling pin. <laughs> I'll it's tell you true. what, it's like a hurricane of crumbs. And you can get as creative as you like with this machine. And this is what I love about it, Shannon. You can, you can have a lot of fun. Next time you're having a chicken oh, dinner, watch this tip. Watch this. Is a good one. Now, yeah. I tried this. Oh, a kid's love. Look at Melissa <laughs> steal. Oh, and, and look oh. at that. Jenny, <laughs> wait, the that's the, oh, for heaven's sake. They're stealing the cupcakes out <laughs> oh of the God, fridge. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we love you, uh, that you guys are Facebooking with it. Richie, thank you for the compliment. We love you have there as well. Here's the tip I want you to see. Yeah. Cheez-Its on Cheez -Its. chicken, right? Yeah, Ch chicken breast with Cheez-Its. They love it. In fact, you can do Doritos. You can, Listen, if you have, if you need some Italian breadcrumbs, okay, instead of seasoning them up, if you happen to have a box of croutons, take some croutons. Put it in the top of the machine. All you do is turn that handle. I know. You've got your Italian breadcrumbs. But watch this, Shannon. Hey, I by the way, you. Jennifer has a question. Yes. Jennifer, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw down a Your Kitchen Challenge. Will it do nuts? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I'm going to go to the coarse grating blade. Okay. And I'll tell you what. It's a Your Kitchen you, Throwdown. It's a Your <laughs> Kitchen Challenge, You John. will love this, okay? Do it for Jennifer. I'm going to take some peanuts. You can use almonds, walnuts, cashews, any type of nut. Put it in the top of the little hopper here. In fact, I'm going to make this fun. We have some... Uh, some holiday M&Ms, okay? Red, white, and blue M&Ms nice. for Memorial okay. Day today. We're gonna add that. And then all you do is turn the handle. And look at this. You'll grate peanuts, walnuts, yeah. almonds, cashews, chocolate. I mean, it does everything but the cooking. It, it, <laughs> it does. really does. And cooking doesn't take time. It's the prep that takes the time. It's but look true. at this. Jennifer, this is, there you go. This it, is the perfect ice cream topping awesome? for cakes, for pies. In fact, if you wanna do regular chocolate, watch this. Right. Take a whole chunk of chocolate. Yeah. Drop it in the top. Right. And look at this. Hey, by the way, John, I'm sorry, I have to, it looks like this will be the final airing for the summer. Based on how many people are joining us, these are the final quantities for the summer. These are the final
final <laughs> quantities for the summer. Oh. It is a $4.99 flex pay. Uh, black, three quarters of the inventory is gone. We started with 2,000, there are only 500 left. Uh, Dustin, I'll do this while John sets this up. I always like I gotta to show end. you this. You gotta do this, okay. <laughs> look at this, I put the slicing blade in, Shannon, yeah. while you're doing that. Yeah. So look at how this chocolate's coming oh, out. I put white sick. chocolate in this time. You see how it shaves nice. it? Instead of coming out grated? It, I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, Vicki Lee on Facebook, by the way, I love seeing all my regular kitchen boo. She is saying too, <laughs> by the time she gets her food processor set up, right? this has already done the job. <laughs> I always like to end with the big finale because oh, yeah? John does this so fast. I know, we, right? We run out of room <laughs> on the table. So we were, we were presenting this maybe 10 minutes. All of this, yeah. and look at he still keeps going. <laughs> here's he another couple of going. bowls back here. And here's another whole block of cheese. I mean, it doesn't get much easier than this. And you'll never bust another nail or knuckle. Exactly. Well, John, thank you for saving my fingers. Well, thank you. And my knuckles. Hey. <laughs> and everything, you know, all the digits in thank between. Thank Kitchen HQ. It's a great machine. It really is. <laughs> it is. We always love it. Wait till you try it. I know. It. John, thank you. Remember, these are the final quantities for the summer. So, now, we did sell out of Debbie Meyer's Ultralight Collection.